Good evening. Uh, my name is Mr. McSweeney. Um, welcome to uh, our virtual back to school night. Um, obviously, the circumstances this year are a little bit bizarre, but uh, I guess it's good to uh, to have you log on and um, put a face with the name of the teacher that your uh, your students have. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is uh, just a very simple walkthrough of uh, the expectations and also um, some of the uh, the more administrative things that that need to be. I guess taking a look at so that uh, you're comfortable with um, how your student is receiving, you know, information um, and uh, how to update and to uh, also check their grades, things of that nature. Okay, just a little bit about myself before we get started. Um, I've been here at Eastern. This is my 16th year, uh, and it is my 18th year in public education. So I've been around it for a little bit. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in uh, modern European history from the University of New Hampshire way back in 2001. And I have a master's degree in the same content, uh, modern European history, from uh, the American Military University. Uh, and that was, I guess, 2010. Okay, uh, either way, um, your, your students are in good hands uh, as far as content is concerned. Um, now I'm going to walk you through just some basic stuff uh, to get to know and familiarize yourself with the platform that we use. All right, so the first thing that we're going to take a look at is uh, Google Classroom. Um, this is the format or the platform that we uh, we use for all of our, for pu pushing out work. Okay, this is our workflow area. Uh, a couple of ways to uh, to look at it. Um, you got you can look at the stream, which gives you basically a um, you know a chronological list of assignments and uh, postings. Um, but more importantly, you can look at classwork, and this has their assignments, your students' assignments broken down. Uh, by different units. Okay, right now we're on the medieval period and the Renaissance. Okay, so uh, you guys can see all the various assignments that have been assigned since September 11th. Uh, and these coincide directly with what you'll see in PowerSchool. So many of these will be entered as grades in PowerSchool. Um, you guys can see supportive secondary. It's got the, uh, the type of assignment next to it. Okay, and uh, Google Classroom also comes with a grade book. So you guys can see the grades of, uh, of your children. Okay. We're not going to go into that because I don't want you guys taking a look at other students' uh, grades. Um, but either way, okay, uh, not every single thing that I post here is going to be for points. Uh, many of these are going to be more for uh, for pushing out notes and for um, reviewing themes, okay? Uh, but you are free to, uh, to peruse these, take a look at them, read through them. If you want to do them, if you have nothing better to do, that's, that's fine too. It's completely up to you. Um, obviously, uh, when your students are working on these, I ask that you, you let them do the work. Uh, so that way I know what they know, know and uh, and not necessarily, you know, what you know. <laughs> okay, um, so that's basically it for uh, for Google Classroom. Okay, if you want to shoot me an email uh, with your name, um, email, and also uh, the class period that your, uh, your child's in, I can invite you as a guardian. That would probably be the next best way to keep up with the assignments as they come due. Um, a couple of you have already done that. Okay, so uh, if you want to add yourself, okay, to the email chain um, and get, you know, consistent updates as to what's coming due and what's been assigned, uh, feel free to email me at tmcsweeney at eccrsd.us, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, over the next couple of days and weeks here, you'll see the, uh, you know, the classroom uh, be populated with more and more work. Uh, I just ask that, you know, you kind of uh, make sure that your child's not falling behind. Uh, we've already had several assignments come due. Uh, the other thing that I tell the students quite often is that if you see a zero entered in power school, that does not mean that that's your final grade. That just means that I physically don't have the work just yet. Okay. So if there are zeros in there, um, obviously, you know, just kind of remind them uh, gently to, uh, to get the work um, submitted before, you know, it becomes part of their distant memory and they forget about it. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, Power School, you guys should be familiar with. You all have a uh, have access to it. Okay. Um, that is another way to, to consistently keep abreast uh, of what your, your child is doing and how they're doing academically. Okay. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, if you want to contact me, definitely use email uh, and I will get back to you uh, within 24 hours. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for, uh, for logging on um, and I hope you have a good night.